hey out there uh, YouTube so sewing Sunday going on at my house um, and buying a new house lots of projects to finish so this is the project I've been working on today as you know I took some um, fabric that I well they were curtains from the old house and turn them into uh, chair cushions because I couldn't use them here. That's a really long story. I could have used them. I figured out how she had done her curtains here. So they probably ended up wouldn't have um, been too short, but I had already made chair cushions. Yikes. So um, took the curtain material that I have left and now that I have the chair cushions in my kitchen, uh, my neighbor actually gave me some curtains yesterday, and I'll show you those at the end of the video. And what I'm doing now is working on throw pillows. So, had some throw pillows, really tired looking fabric, and wanted it all, just a change, and thought I would use what I have, because as you know, I feel like it's using what you have. Um, so, here we go. So, here was the throw pillow before that I had and if you have looked in the store you know how expensive throw pillows are they I actually went to home good yesterday and I must have like ADD of home goods um, because I was so I get so overwhelmed in there and the prices for throw pillows were like 25 to 35 dollars a pillow not doing it that's just absurd so here is the fabric there's the pile of fabric we had left and that's actually in a feather pillow that i'm going to make into another throw pillow because no one can sleep on feather pillows at our house because of allergy issues so this is the fabric and i've cut it down if you can see you know the tab still at the top i believe this is the please remove after purchasing yeah well, that didn't even get removed. So here is my throw pillow. And as you can see, I have cut it to size. Now keep in mind, this isn't a perfect world. And I am making this piece of fabric work. It really, I mean, I could have cut a bigger piece of something else. But this is what I had left after making this pillow. So it's all finished. So what I did is I just laid my pillow down on my fabric like I have it here and I cut and made sure it was going to fit. This actually, this piece fit perfect. It had a piece um, lapped over here that I cut off. So I will now take this on my machine and this is, a, is the fold of the fabric. So I will pin this and then sew around the edges um and then leave an edge to actually put my pillow in now i did that here on this one so i flipped it wrong side out i sewed well i sewed actually all around the edges when the material was wrong side out and then over here when it was wrong side out also and then i folded this pillow in half like this and stuffed it into my sewn pillowcase then I just sewed the edge keep in mind I do like I've said this video I'm gonna try to turn this around and not cover up my volume I'm really bad about that but like I had said with um, this video and other videos in the past I am all about using exactly what I have um, I don't go out and buy a spool of five dollar thread I'm not saying you're a horrible person if you do but I just don't I love I mean it, it makes a project feel better to me if I'm using exactly what I have so yes my thread on my pillow um, is actually white I don't know if you can see I mean if someone sits on my sofa and looks over my throw pillows and goes oh my god you sewed your pillows with white thread i mean really i guess i don't want them as a friend anyway so i mean i used white thread yes i was like oh i wish i had brown but i didn't so i made it work so here's my pillow yay me um going to sew up the other one and i'll show you what that looks like and then i'll show you what the look like on the sofa See ya.